That's a quick tutorial on um, how to how to uh, explicitly define a split line draft on a radius. Say if you had um, a plastic part and had a radius on a corner, say it was a three or five mil thick part or something, and you wanted the draft the um, split line to be defined uh, with three degrees on either side. Say if you had a texture on the plastic, uh, you don't want the t the tool just to split. Um, wherever it falls so it goes down to zero degrees draft because that means you could get scuffing on the texture anyway. Um, so the, I've just made a right? basic form, a twisted form here just to illustrate this principle. So if we add a full round, generate a full round along there and then have a look at the draft on that using the top plane as our um, line of draw. Okay, you can see that sort of indefinite yellow zone there. Now that's where it's out of out of draft condition there. Drop it down to 0.1, you can see where the split line's gonna fall. Okay, three degrees, so you could get scuffing on your texture along that area. So instead of just letting it drop down to zero degrees draft at that point, we're gonna model in actual draft along there. So starting with this, we're gonna insert a curve, split line, silhouette edge using the line of draw plane. So we'll select that and then select the face that we want to split. And we don't want to put any angle on that. So zero degrees. So there's our split line. Okay, so now I'm going to insert a 3D sketch. Actually, show you the draft first. Okay, so we put down point 0.1. There you can see where it falls straight on that curve that we've created. On the split split line okay so insert a 3d sketch we'll select that line and convert entities and then exit the sketch okay so now we've got that line as a reference next thing to do will be to delete the uh, fillet faces that we don't need two fillet faces are gone okay now I'm going to insert we need to insert some um, construction geometry so I'm going to insert a, a, an extrude based on that 3D sketch. Insert surface. Extrude. Whoops. Select it first. Insert surface. Extrude. Okay. So because it's 3D sketch, you need to pick a, an extrusion direction. So we'll pick our line of draw, which is the top plane. Okay, we're doing the top surface first, so we're going to add some draft, 3 degrees, make sure it's going outwards, otherwise it will be undercut, and go okay. Now this top surface we'll just do with a boundary, a, a two edge boundary uh, surface, we won't pick direction two. Okay, so pick the two edges, change the tangency conditions, and then check the curvature plot, yes it's a bit flat there. So we're going to make the tangent length a bit longer. Okay, so there's our surface. That's our top surface. So now we're going to repeat the same for the bottom. So we'll hide these. We'll unhide our 3D sketch there, which is our split line. And we'll do the same again. Insert surface, extrude. Then we have to pick a direction because it's a 3D sketch. So top plane, flip the direction. Oh no, 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 sorry, it's the right direction. And put the draft on. Okay, now for this I'm going to add end curves as well. So we'll do that on the front plane there. So I'm going to insert sketch, style, spline, two points in the middle, one at each end. Which will allow us to create tangent constraints those ends and just to, for easiness we're just going to make those all equal the distance between our control vertices <clears throat> now we'll do the same down the other end on the other construction plane so styles plane two points in the middle one at each end select okay make that tangent other end Okay, so you can pick either the, 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 the curve itself or you can control the control line there, so we'll just make those tangent. 
and again select one two three and make those equal you could stick a dimension on there if you wanted but for this tutorial we'll just make them equal okay now we're going to make a boundary surface picking edges okay direction two the two curves we just made okay and then we'll change our tangent conditions on the end tangent to face and we'll make the tangent influence 100 because you can see on the curvature plot there in the middle it's a bit funny it flattens off so if we slide this up to 100 percent there we go much better okay select okay and we'll hide that control surface construction surface bring up our the top boundary surface now i want to knit it all together okay and you can see there that's our split line it doesn't have the tangent font applied that's because it's not tangent so if we do a draft check using the draft plane which is top we can see there with three degrees on there it terminates smack bang on the split line drops down to three degrees Okay, to illustrate that, 3.1, okay, so you can see the yellows out of out of draft condition there, 3.05. Obviously you can apply this to much more complex forms, uh, this is just a quick illustration uh, of how you might do this, because sometimes you don't want to leave it up to the tool maker to decide where the split line goes. Um, that's great, thank you very much.